Okay, guys, Dollar Tree haul here. Now, I'm not sure if I showed you this, so if I'm showing it again, this was that solar-powered um, flying cardinal, but I am going to open it right now. Now, it comes, I guess, with this hook, with this self-stick thing, but I'm not going to put that up. I, I think I'm just going to leave it like that, and it has its solar panel there, but I'm just going to let that charge up. Okay, Mr. Cardinal, you can stay there, and I'll put that there. Um, let's go through some of the things. I went to a different Dollar Tree at another part of Pennsylvania because my kids went to a movie with my husband. They went to see, ouch, um, well, the Justice League, and I'm not like a fan of that. So I went to Hobby Lobby, got some nice stuff. I went to Target, I went to Five Below, I went to Dollar Tree. I saw these baskets. I don't remember seeing these at any of uh, my other Dollar Trees, so I thought they'd be cute. Um, cards in, but you know, all the kinds of things that come in during the holidays. And then I thought this elf basket with my kids having their little elf outfits and they're a nice and really nice size basket. So I got those two. And then I saw these um, violins. And you saw me do the French horns and the trumpets. So the violins I had to get. And like I said, I'm going to use these on the garland. Hopefully soon I can get going on that when my contractor is done with the painting. The other store did have the musical notes. And I didn't buy them at that time. But then I bought them this time. All right, so let's put them on. And I got... I showed you some stuff that I had for photos and stuff. thought these would be cute. This is a little top hat headband. And then these are for my kits. I think I actually got them the exact same ones. I couldn't know that last year, but they still use them to put special things in. I had just saw one in the family room, so I got them. usually put them by their stocking with some like excess that doesn't fit in a stocking. So I got two of those. got this. So I got the elf headband. And then I got two of the elf hats that I'm sure you've seen. They've had these kind of hats for a while. I think, gosh, I can remember one of my older sons when he was in kindergarten, he played an elf. And then I said, well, I got my so I'm the elf hat and I was the class mother and then she was like, oh, can you make the elf costumes for all the kids in the class? So she gave me a bunch of stuff and I made the elf costumes. But, okay, so there's the elf hats there. And then there is this cute one. Little Santa hat, so like that. What else? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I don't know if I showed you guys these. These are from Holler. I think I forgot to show them, I think, in my last haul, but these were the gift tags. Very Merry Christmas. These were cute. And then sometimes you find these and sometimes you don't. This store had the egg cartons if somebody is looking for their refrigerator, but they have these clear bins. Now I have the single bins in the clear. And so I got these because I have like little things in those drawers and I got three of them. Okay. Oops. Let me make sure I'm not pushing anything on those painted chairs. And then I also got these to put in drawers. I have very, very large drawers in my kitchen. Um, these, those are those basket weave baskets and I've hauled, I don't know if I've hauled that size ever before. I've hauled the darker brown ones in all different sizes, but I got two of these to go into some drawers here that I have next to my oven because I plan to put um, 
my pot holders and like these silicone trivet things in them because I can actually fit at least two of these side by side if not even have more space. So the, uh, I got the big, like some artwork from Hobby Lobby and I got, my son is a big fly fisherman so I got this really nice trout fly art. That was a really good deal. Okay, so I got this tin. This was 50% off at Hobby Lobby. It's a really good size tin. And it came to, let's see here, $3.99, so, you know, $2 half price. I got one like that last year, too. It's good. Um, and then I got these, because I may use them in that chair project. So these, yes, and these were... Christmas stickers, and I just like that they, they stay in glass, and I like the angel, especially for this project, and the poinsettia, because I tried to get a cardinal, but I think in the star, these are going to look really nice, and there, you get two sheets of them, they were half price, they dollar $1.99, so they came to $0.99, cents. and then also for the chair project were these holiday cheer you know, scrapbooking, stock paper, and they have great colors and everything. So I got that, and so that's normally $6.99, so like $3.50. And then I'm a big Peanuts fan, and they actually had, I thought it was like a knockoff Charlie Brown um, nutcracker at Hobby Lobby. And I was like, sure it was, because I was holding it, and then his Charlie Brown shirt was green, but it looked the same, but he had no nose. And so I'm like, oh no, what am I going to use for a nose or whatever? And I didn't get it. They were half price. But this little Snoopy, okay, he's so, he's so adorable. Um, and I love Snoopy. He has like this, kind of they said scuff marks. And I think it'll probably come right off with um, Solumel that I use or a magic eraser that I use from Mel Luca. I think it'll take it right off. But they still gave me an additional discount and they were already 50% off. So I got a super deal on that. And, you know, and at first, like, you know, worst came to worst and nothing took it off, which I don't think is going to be the case. I would just touch it up with white but super duper cute and yeah got that and um let's see is there anything else I'm trying to think i thought i had other things i mean something doesn't seem this is one of the things i got at hobby lobby and this is um another thing i got at hobby lobby let's see. this is go jump in the lake and these were all you know their signs like this were 50 percent off and it's it's clear glass and i thought you know we live on a lake and i just thought it would look great somewhere and it's a small thing because like sometimes i don't know where you know i have small spaces to decorate and not sure what to use i may go over with like a chalk white paint i'm not sure but this was uh i think it was let me see here What was that? Um, so it was ten ninety nine. It was half that. So that was a good deal. Okay, hopefully you can see this. The scissor. This says. Lake time. It's a nice size. And this was $19.99, but it was half off. So I thought that was nice. And I may again use a white chalk paint on the frame. Okay, so this says life is better at the lake. And this was a special clearance. I think there was only one, maybe two left. 
and it was ten dollars so that was their yellow tag clearance they had a lot of yellow tag clearance going on and I may use a whitewash on that too and then I'll show you one more this is what I got for my son and hold on one second my is a trout fly and it says blue it's framed really nicely and it was you see $24.99 but it was $12.49 it was another yellow tag and I thought it was really nice they had a pink one too but I know you know he wouldn't want two of the same ones and I know the blue he'd like he may decide to put this in his restaurant I don't know because he has a restaurant right in Trout Town USA or he may use it you know for his own decor but he is in a trout, you know, like a world-renowned trout town is where he has his restaurant, and he's also a big fly fisherman, fisherman of all kinds, but a fly fisherman, so I thought he'd love this, and it's, it's very, very nice. Oh my gosh, I'm driving myself crazy with this stuff. Okay, I got my son, I always make them a birthday shirt. Um, I used to buy them. Then I started making them, and I really like making them because I got a new sewing machine and I wanted to learn more about sewing. And so this was something like I was master made the whole family these applique. Like I took shirts like this. We all had red and green, and I made templates for a reindeer. And then I made the antlers like in the polka dots. And then I, I'll have to. You can look at and see it on my blog. I'm pretty sure it's there. But there's also a birthday shirt on my blog too. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut out the number and then I just use my machine and I use the the applique stitch, go over the number. Um, of course I wash both things before I do it and I do put a sewable um, that bond with the sewable one on it to iron it into place first so that it doesn't move around when I'm sewing it and I also use pins too because the sewable bond is not as um, doesn't adhere as as be, hmm, doesn't adhere as well as the one that you don't sew. But when I first started, like before I I got a little more confidence. I mean, I started making pillowcase dresses and everything. But before that, I was a little bit nervous, so I started just using that the one that you just iron it on. Didn't like it because then it peels away eventually. So I want to go ahead and sew it all around. So that's what I use now, but that's for his birthday shirt. And I'll show you guys how that turns out. And I just get a number template, like there's printable number templates all over the internet. And that's all I do. It's really simple. And, you know, you can make it for a fraction of the price. And it's something that you make, which I think is really special. So you can make it whatever you want. I mean, I even have Superman. And I made use that, but I got this one just in case. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.